Hello class, this is Tudor Godwin, and we will be talking about blood flow through the heart. The two largest veins of the body, the superior vena cava and inferior vena cava, empty their contents into the right atrium. This blood passes via the right atrioventricular valve into the right ventricle, and from there blood is pumped out into the pulmonary artery the only artery in the body that carries deoxygenated blood. At the opening of the pulmonary artery, the pulmonary valve is present, which prevents backflow of the blood into the right ventricle. It is also known as the semilunar valve. After leaving the heart, the pulmonary artery divides into left and right pulmonary arteries, which carry the blood to the lungs, where an exchange of gases takes place, Carbon dioxide is excreted and oxygen is absorbed. After purification of blood in the lungs, two pulmonary veins carry oxygenated blood back to the left atrium. Blood then passes through the left atrioventricular valve, mitral valve, bicuspid valve, into the left ventricle. And from there, blood is pumped out into the aorta the first artery of general circulation. The opening of the aorta is guarded by the aortic valve. At the opening of the aorta, there is a valve present, which is called the semilunar, or aortic valve. However, it should be noted that both atria contract at the same time, and this is followed by the simultaneous contraction of both ventricles. Conductive system of the heart. Autorhythmicity. The heart possesses the property of generating its own electrical impulse and beats independently of nervous or hormonal control. It is sullied with both sympathetic and parasympathetic autonomic nerve fibers. Here's components. The SA node, sinoatrial node. The AV node, atrioventricular node. The AV bundle, bundle of his. Atrioventricular bundle. 1. The SA node, sinoatrial node. This is a small mass of specialized cells that lies in the opening of the superior vena cava. The sinoatrial cells generate these regular impulses because they are electrically unstable. This is also known as pace setters. 2. The AV node, atrioventricular node. This small mass of neuromuscular tissue is situated in the wall of the atrial septum near the atrioventricular valve. Normally, the atrioventricular node merely transmits the electrical signals from the atria into the ventricle. 3. The atrioventricular bundle. Bundle of his. This mass of specialized fibers originated from the atrioventricular node. The atrioventricular node crosses the fibrous ring that separates atria and ventricles, then at the upper end of the ventricular septum, it divides into right and left bundle branches. Within the ventricular myocardium, the branches break up into the fibers called Purkinje fibers, which supply electrical impulses into the apex of the heart. The heart is influenced by the autonomic, sympathetic and parasympathetic nerves originating in the cardiovascular center in the medulla oblongata. The vagus nerve supplies mainly the sinoatrial and atrioventricular nodes and atrial muscles. The cardiac cycle. At rest, the healthy adult heart is likely to beat at a rate of 60-70 beats per minute. Each heartbeat cycle is known as a cardiac cycle. During this time, the heart will contract and relax. The period of contraction is called systole, and relaxation is called diastole. Stages of cardiac cycle. Each cardiac cycle lasts about 0.8 seconds and consists of one. Atrial systole, contraction of atria for 0.1 seconds, tazano 2. Ventricular systole, Contraction of ventricles for 0.3 seconds, 3. Complete cardiac diastole, 
relaxation of atria and ventricles for 0.4 seconds. The superior vena cava and inferior vena cava transport deoxygenated blood into the right atrium. At the same time, four pulmonary veins carry blood flows passively into the left ventricle. The SA node spreads a wave of impulse into the myocardium of the left atrium and starts. Atrial contraction. The AV node spreads impulses quickly into ventricular muscle via the atrioventricular bundle and Purkinje fibers. The intricacies of how blood circulates and how the heart manages this through a complex series of valves and nodes remain a marvel of the human body. This is fascinating, but how does this relate to physical health? Great question. Understanding the heart's function is critical for grasping concepts like cardiac output, stroke volume, and ultimately how exercise can improve heart health. When you exercise, your heart rate increases to pump more oxygenated blood to your muscles, exemplifying the efficiency and adaptability of the cardiovascular system. So does that mean better heart efficiency comes from more exercise? Precisely. Regular exercise leads to adaptations such as a stronger heart muscle, improved circulation, and lower resting heart rate. All contribute to enhanced cardiovascular health. What are some signs that our heart is healthy or not? Generally, a healthy heart shows signs like normal resting heart rate, regular heartbeat rhythms, and good blood pressure levels. Conversely, signs of an unhealthy heart can include fatigue, breathlessness, and palpitations. So always be mindful of your heart, and remember that knowledge and lifestyle choices play a critical role in maintaining cardiovascular health. This concludes our lesson on the human heart. Keep learning and keep your heart healthy.